Right then, so we're leaving that little marker and seat there. We've been right over there, we've, we've done miles. It, when I say we've done miles, it's not so much miles, it's terrain. It's up and down, round through woodland, up and down. But this looks a pleasant walk, doesn't it? Doesn't this look pleasant? I don't know if it'll end up pleasant, I've got no idea yet, but all I know, I'm heading towards Bosington Beacon Hill, where what the plan is, is to walk around that Lynch pathway. Wait, don't, I might not know, I'll see what happens when I get to the signs. <laughs> I've been protected a lot from the sun. That sun is still really, really hot. <sighs> so I was up there. I went down into a wood, deep into a wood. Decided I was going the wrong way. Had to come back. And uh, so I was getting further and further away from here. I think, like I said, I would have ended up in one of the villages down there too soon. And it wouldn't, I don't think it would have been Bosington. My campsite's down there, where it's glistening. That's where my campsite is. I think, yes, I think now it would have taken me to Bosington, down there. But it's not the end of the day yet. I've got a nice chicken stew tonight. No dumplings, though. And potatoes. I've got no beans. No peas, I mean. I just have it like that with some bread and butter. I've got pudding. Um, I, I haven't really been bothering with the puddings, actually. So, anyway, we're going up. I know the sun's out really bright. But we're gradually going up. I've seen this path for a long way away. And decided that I needed to be on it. And that's what I'm doing. But earlier, I went deep. I've got a feeling that takes you into Bosington. That's, I think that's Bosington Wood that someone's talking to me about. Let's check the time. It's dead on five o'clock. No, it's nine minutes past five. We've got two hours before it's dark. We've got just over two hours. Yeah, I got in that wood. Up there, I went in the gate up there. Some people coming out there. I went in that gate. I went down there. Woo! Hi! They might have been thinking the same as me, see? How did she get over there, they'll say. What I should have done is gone down path up there, look. That would have brought me down. He might have his binoculars on me, don't know. There we go, look. You can see where I should have come down. I can see a camper van up there, look. See? I should have been where I am now, an hour ago. I should have walked up a bit. 
and come down there. But I ended up a track where those people are. I must have just missed the track to come down here. I ended up going down that wood nearly to the bottom. Can you believe that? And guess what's down the bottom? <sighs> Bottingham or Tun, whatever it's called. <laughs> Isn't it weird? Oh, he's that close from that village. It's too early. It's too early. I didn't come in here. I didn't come away to sit in a van for 12 hours. I want to get back feeling hungry and ready for sleep. That's what I want to do. Let me see if I can see who they are. That's that bloke that camping near me. Could be. She's got tight trousers on. Depends if they've got um, a collie or not. I don't know if they have. Right, I've just plowed through the ferns there. I don't normally do that because of snakes, ticks and all sorts of things. But it was the only way. Otherwise it meant I would have ended up down in that coombe somewhere. I mean, I might have, I might have met the path. I don't know. I just didn't want to get too bypass, so I thought go head for the path. But it's not easy coming through that. No. That ain't easy. There's all sorts of hidden lurgies in there, and I spit I'll know later. Right, we're now on this round the beacon, we hope. Round the beacon path. That was those people, I reckon it was them. I must have been very close to them, you know. I never seen nobody. Thank God for this. I've still got quite a way to go yet. I don't care. I don't care. Oh. I've done it. Actually, there was a little hope crop there. Let's have a look. It's like a miniature beacon, isn't it, that one? Look. I missed that. I like this walk. The Lynchcombe Walk. Or the Lynch Path, whatever you want to call it. Sun right in front of me, but it's getting cooler. Um, that, this takes you down to Bosington. I sat in the bush there. See something white. Could be just bark. <coughs> right, so we just walk round here now. I walked halfway round it yesterday. And if I'd carried on walking round it, I would have got to Bossington. I would have got there anyway. Well, I think, what a nice way back. Now I know the way back as well. Now I know the way back. I still got an orange. 
I still got two biscuits, two packets of crisps, three quarters of water. I probably should have taken more water, but then I had two cups of tea. <sighs> Look at that, everyone. Isn't it beautiful? I really am exploring, though, ain't I? I've been in the wood, up the coom, down the coom, round the coom, round the beacon. I haven't done the rough walk yet, but I, keep, I might keep that for another time. Right, over and out from that. <sighs>